Hello everyone, in this video we want to uh, show how you could interface your Tiva C-Series launchpad which has the Cortex-M4 microcontroller with the standard servo motor. So as you could see here, we have our servo motor which is the standard servo motor and here we have our uh, Cortex-M4 microcontroller. So there is just one connection here, which is the black wires go to the uh, ground. The red wire of the servo goes to the positive 5 volt. And the white uh, color uh, wire of the servo goes to the pin PF1 in our microcontroller. So let's turn that for any degree that we want. So as you could see right now, it is on a zero. So the standard servo able to... Uh, turn around between 0 and 180 for my case here is 0 I actually put one arrow here and this is 180 so for any degree that I want I'm able to actually turn the servo let to start right now it is on 0 let to do 45 so I'm going to load that to the microcontroller and it should be turned to the 45 degree so right now it is 45 so I'm turning that to the 90 degree and see if it works or not. So right now it is 90 degree. So it is 90. So let's add one more 45, which is 90 plus 45 should be give 135. So I actually put 135 here in my code. It should be turn another 45. So see it is in the position and at the last one we could try 180. So if you load 180 on your code, you should be able to turn to 180. So again, back here I give to the zero, it should be back to the zero position that we started. So I upload the code. So as you could see, it's actually back to the zero position. So let's take a look to the codes and see what we have in the codes. So as you could see here in the codes, so we use the servo.h library. So in the first line, we actually include that. So then in the second line, we have one object from that uh, class or from that library. We call that my servo. So then here you use two functions. So the first function that you have here, so if I could have it here, so see this line actually is uh, my servo.attach function, which is you, you give the uh, pin number that you connect the uh, servo, which is we connect the white wire to PF1. And here you use the my servo dot right. You give any degree that you want. So what I did, actually I put zero. Actually I put 45. I put 90 for 90 degree, and I put 135 and 180. So then you load that um, codes, and it's able to turn any uh, value that you want. So let I just try one more, as uh, I we already did that. So that I just changed this to the 90 degree. So back to here. So as you could see, it is still on a zero. So right now I'm going to load or upload the codes to the microcontroller and it should be go to the 90 degree. So, so whenever you want to start to working with your servo, so definitely first you need to start with zero. You have the same codes here. Just instead of having 190 or any degree, you start with the zero and know where is your zero degree. So you put, you have the same code, put the zero here. So then it should be back to your zero. So see, it's back to the zero. So then you could actually put the arrow in that uh, direction and you okay, this is my zero. So then 180 would be in the other side. Then you could actually play with any degree that you want and you precisely able to um, control your servo motor and put for anywhere that you want. So whenever you use this code, definitely the speed is the maximum speed. It's use the pulse width modulation. 
So if you have these very basic codes, so the speed is the maximum speed of the servo. So if you want to actually um, change the speed, definitely you just need to use the delay function and write the different values inside these uh, write function and just add the, the delay between them. That means you are able to control the speed of your set. In the next video, I'm going to explain how you could interface the continuous servo motor. So as you could see, this one is just able to turn around 0 to 180, but continuous servo um, is able to turn uh, 360 degrees. So I, in the next video, you will see how you could control continuous servo motor. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day.